What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So Apple just released iOS 17.4 Beta 1 for all eligible devices if you are a registered developer as well. And with this build should come some interesting features. I'm not quite sure if it's going to be in Beta 1 or even if us in the US is going to see this change. It could be specifically for international markets. But yes, of course, I am talking about for the first time ever side loading on iPhones thanks to the Digital Market Act from the EU countries. It is required for them to continue selling overseas. And for those of you that don't know, this will take shape and be in place March 6th of this year. So Apple has been putting this off for years. This is most likely going to be the release with this feature built in. Apple has had to cave under other circumstances here in the US um, for like the app store pricing and availability to purchase apps outside of the app store due to a monopoly. But this is the first time internationally Apple will have to adhere to these guidelines, like I said. So it'll be very interesting to see if it is built into this beta or not. Having said that, let's go ahead and do our typical song and dance, take a look at the build number, see the temperature, and really kind of get a timeline of when this will be released. Spoiler alert, we kind of just talked about it. Let's go. All right, so as you guys can see here, iOS 17.4 Beta 1 just finished installing. And first things first, I apologize if you can hear some noise in the background. We didn't anticipate this dropping today on a random Thursday, so we actually have the 3D printer going, but no big deal. Here we go, jumping right into it. This feels like an oven right now. Let's do our normal heat test. And right off the bat, I can tell you this baby is feeling super, super hot to the touch, uh, almost uncomfortably so. The temperature is not really fully reflecting what it's feeling like. Um, we've seen a lot higher, but this definitely is warmer than what we're normally used to. Beyond that, this update did come in pretty substantially large. Um, it was about 6.4 gigs on the 15 Pro Max. Again, not surprising considering we are installing the complete OS again, but just something I wanted to call out. Jumping right into the settings, general and about. As you guys can see, this first build is an I build, which is very, very farther down on the alphabet than what we're used to seeing. So I would expect quite a number of beta releases here specifically just because of all of the new international changing that officially has taken place that you guys heard us talk about in the intro. Yes, it is official. Side loading is coming to the iPhone in the European Union. Uh, so we'll talk about that here in a second. But as you can see here, this does have a build of 21E5184I. Again, that I signifying that this is quite a ways away. If we're going to guess we would say that this needs to be ready, obviously, by that March deadline. So we will go through betas every week, probably in February, and have the release candidate or golden master release at the beginning of the month to adhere to those guidelines for public release around that time frame. I would think we're going to get at least three or four betas for this, but again, that is just me completely speculating. Before we jump into anything else, let's see if the feedback app is updated. And right off the bat, you can see... It is struggling here as well. You saw that delay, so that's not a good sign. Hopefully it's just finishing getting everything activated, but never good to see nonetheless. And we actually do have an update here for iOS and iPad, beta one. And you can see, unsurprisingly, there is a pretty substantial list of known issues as well as some resolved. But you can see some of these are gonna be pretty substantial if you're using this on your regular device for viewing HomeKit cameras. Uh, that is a pretty big issue. There's an issue with maps here, messages, where stickers, memoji, and third party appears may appear blank. Um, definitely a ton of issues here. Just scrolling through, it's my first time looking at it with you guys, so we're seeing it live here. Um, those look to be the biggest ones up top WebKit, Swift UI. Um, general issues apps require certain managed entitlements, might not install or show an error. It has a workaround for some of these. Guys, I probably wouldn't advise using this as your daily driver with this beta just yet. Uh, as, again, we're talking about, there is probably going to be quite a number of betas. Now it makes sense why there's that I build. I would not put this on your primary device just yet. If you want to look also, we can see down here we are running what seems to be 
pretty decently. Let's see what is going on here. Identifiable region, that's new. So as you can see, it's showing unknown currently. This will be something that's gonna come up in the next couple betas. So the iPhone can recognize where it's at to see what needs to be taken into account for these new rules that we're talking about here. Um, so that's very interesting to see. Let's see if anything else stands out here. Just in settings in general, nothing really. Any updates to the action button? Doesn't look like it just yet. Let's get out of that. So nothing substantially is standing out. Let's obviously check out the App Store. Yeah. So, okay. Not seeing anything quite of note yet that really stands out here. So one thing we did almost miss is there are actually new emojis in this build. So we have everything to new shaking heads. So you can see we have that is the new shaking head emoji. There is a new Phoenix emoji, as you can see here as well. There is a new lime emoji. There is a mushroom. And a few other ones. I think there's a chain. Yeah, that's a new one as well. So not a ton, but there are some new emojis here I did just want to call out for you guys. So if nothing else, at least we got new emojis in this build in this beta build. Again, this is a quick early look. We haven't even begun to do a deeper dive into this, unfortunately. So we'll have to see now how Apple is going to really handle these iPhones in the EU and all of that. Like I said, there's a number of new changes that are coming here in the EU. Now this update has allowed third party browser engines, third party app stores and alternate in-app payment methods all to go with that new change that is required in the EU. So we'll see. That's it for this one, guys. If we find a ton of updates and other issues, we will do a subsequent follow-up video for you. But for now, if you're a registered developer, you can go download it. Go check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.